Boys and girls, it's time for us to begin today with our opening song, Praise Him. Everybody stand. Let's sing together. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Welcome, boys and girls. We're excited that you're back with us today. Today we're going to learn about a guy named Paul. He was a evangelist. That's a big word, isn't it? An evangelist. What it means is he liked to share the good news about Jesus because Jesus was his best friend. So listen close and you'll hear the word again, evangelist. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for us to start with our opening prayer. Put your hands together and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you so much for people who teach us and tell us all about Jesus. Help us, Lord, to listen, to hear your word, and learn about the best friend we can ever have. And his name is Jesus. Amen. OK, boys and girls, this is our theme song. I've got the love of Jesus down in my heart. Make sure you say where. If you're ready, it'll be your turn when you say where. But you can sing with us. Are you ready? I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I can't hear you. There you go. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, Where? down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Okay, boys and girls, today, do you remember I told you about a guy who was named Paul, and he was an evangelist. Say that word with me, evangelist. So what does that mean? It means that he wanted to share the good news. Have you ever had anything that was so awesome that you wanted to share it with people? Well, that was who Paul was. He met a guy named Jesus, and Jesus changed his heart, and he changed his life. You see, Paul always loved God, but he didn't know about Jesus. He didn't know that Jesus died on the cross for him. And when he found out, he wanted Jesus to be his friend. So what he decided to do with his life was to go all over the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone he met. And one day he heard that there was an exciting thing that was happening. Um, and he heard that there was a town that needed to hear about Jesus. He found out about it in a really weird way. He was actually sleeping and God spoke to him as he was sleeping. And in his dream, he saw a man that said, come over here, come over here and tell us about this good news this evangel, this good stuff that's happening. So he and his friends got in a boat and they went over to a place called Philippi. 
At Philippi, there was a lot of people mulling around. They lived on the end of the shore, kind of like we do, near the water. And all the people were in the city, and they began to share the good news about Jesus. Well, one afternoon, they decided they'd go down by the river. And when they went down by the river, which was an offshoot, kind of like it is here in Pocosin, of the sea, he found some people that were gathering there. And they were gathering there to pray. And as they prayed, they heard Paul and his friends come. And they said, what are you here for? And he says, well, we're here to tell the good news. And as the people gathered, they knew God, but they didn't know Jesus. They were just like Paul. And when they heard the good news about what Jesus had done, how he had died on the cross for their sins, they said, we want him as our friend too. And they were all excited about that. And they all accepted Jesus as their friend. There was one lady in particular. Her name was Lydia. And Lydia used to work in cloth. Well, basically, they didn't used to have clothes that you could buy. And she would make cloth. She would weave it. And she would dye it different colors, purple. And, and she was very wealthy. And she said, Paul, you need a place to stay so we can tell everybody about this good news. And so she invited him to come and stay in her spare room. And he stayed there and he went all through Philippi and people would come and he'd tell them all about this person named Jesus. And people kept accepting Jesus as their friend, except there were some people in town that didn't want to hear about Jesus. They didn't care who Jesus was. They didn't want Jesus as their friend. And so they got angry. Have you ever had somebody get angry? angry at you because of something you said? Well, they got so angry. As a matter of fact, they decided that what Paul was saying wasn't truth, even though it was. Paul didn't do anything wrong. He just told them the truth. And so what they decided that they were going to do is they were going to get him arrested. So they took him to the magistrate and they told him what Paul was doing and they got him arrested. And what they did was they put him in jail. Have you ever seen a jail? It's a place with bars. Well, this particular jail not only had bars, it had a thing called a stock. And what a stock is, is two pieces of wood, and they've cut holes through them, and they put your feet in it and close it down, and then they put your hands in it. Well, Paul and his friend Silas, who were telling about the good news, were really uncomfortable. But they also knew that God loved them and that Jesus would never leave or forsake them. So instead of being upset and angry, they began to praise God. They began to pray. They began to ask God to deliver them. They began to sing, praise him, praise him. And as they began to praise God, all of a sudden something crazy happened. The earth began to shake and an earthquake happened and the doors flew open and the stocks became unlocked. And there they were. God had set them totally free. <laughs> now, it was in the middle of the night, and the jailer that was watching over them all of a sudden was startled, and he became afraid because he knew that this was something that was happening that was of God. And he went back to the back part of the jail, and he was afraid that the people might have escaped. But there was Paul and Silas. They were still singing praise to God. And he said, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you run away? He said, because I knew that God loved me and God was going to take care of me and everything was going to be okay. Well, when the jailer heard that, he says, well, that's the kind of person I want in my life. And, and as Paul and Silas told him all about Jesus and about how much Jesus loved them, <laughs> it was crazy because he wanted to know about it and he took them to his house and he told his, all of his family about it and he gave them food and and and. And he accepted Jesus as his friend. That jailer did and his whole family. Well, the next morning when they went back to the jail, they told Paul and Silas that they could leave, that there was no charges against them. What really happened was God had freed them. You see, that's what happens when Jesus comes into your heart. God sets you free from all that sin and from all that ugliness. And that's the awesome part about having Jesus as your friend. So I want you to pray with me today so that we can know Jesus as our friend. Put your hands together, okay? Repeat after me. Dear God, 
Thank you so much, Thank you so much. For, Jesus. for Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Cleanse, me of my sins. Cleanse me of my sins. And Jesus, Jesus. Be, my be my forever friend. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, stand up. We're going to sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves you. tells me so. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our benediction. Everybody stand up and let's say it together. I have two little eyes to look at God, two little ears to hear his word, two little lips to speak his praise, two little feet to walk his ways, two little hands to do his will, and one little heart to love him 